LK, welcome to the final round of Math and Science Quiz B this year. After a whole week with all these hectic yet fun math and science activities, we will finally arrive at the culmination of this event. Today, we will challenge your understanding, your knowledge, your swift response, and especially your spirit for house colors to win this math and science competition. To start this event, please welcome our own principal, Mr. Edamara, to give us a warm and encouraging message. Hello and welcome to SLK for Science and Math Week for 2021. The following activities have been designed by our educators who are super passionate about their subject areas and they hope our students will go out there and really change the world. We're coming at you online currently, and the reason for that, of course, is the pandemic. Maybe amongst our students today, we have future immunologists, or perhaps we have future engineers, both of whom can make the world a better place. They do say that up to 65% of the jobs our students will be doing in the future don't even exist yet. So our goal as a school is to prepare our children, our students, to get out there and be prepared to do jobs that don't even exist yet. Science and math is a huge part of that in terms of the skill set that they need. So I'd like to wish all our contestants the best of luck and remember participation is more important than winning and holding on to that passion for lifelong learning is more important than anything. So enjoy, good luck, and Godspeed. Thank you, Mr. Adam, for such a wonderful message. This event is the first competition for our house color. Green Hawk, Blue Falcon, Yellow Osprey, and Red Stellar. We hope you are excited because this is your chance to contribute more points to win the House Color Cup by the end of this academic year. Now, let's welcome our participants. The first one from Red Stellar, Nicole Alessandra Darminta, Shanessa Iris Mary Bauer, Andrew Dimas Bowens. Next, we are welcoming Green Hawk participants. Princess Charlotte J. Dean, Amy Aizawa Kanginadi, Alexis Blasquez Fosati. Next, let's welcome Blue Falcon. We have Queen C. Desri Hainasis, Carl Frederick Yu, and Sol Dewa Suito Tricio. Last but not least, we have Yellow Osprey, Cairo Skim, Olivia Tanchev, and Milin Paliwal. Welcome. Okay, so listen up guys. We have two rounds to compete with 10 questions for each round. And if there's a tiebreaker, we have extra questions, don't worry. So in the first round, each house color can answer and will be given 10 points for the correct answer. So 10 points, every correct answer. Then on the second round, we will give questions that any house color can answer the fastest. And last but not least, at the end of the first round, we will have questions for the viewers. So you better stay tuned, guys. SLK students who are watching right now will have to write their answers on a piece of paper or in a Google Docs for later submission to Google Classroom. Are you guys ready? OK. So let's take a look at the round one rules. There will be 10 questions. Any member of the house color can give an answer. Okay, you will need to leave your answer once I have given you the cue. After the question has been read twice, then you have five seconds to discuss the answer with your group mates. Okay, clear? Okay, let's carry on with the first question. Ready? Ready? <laughs> no. Okay, let's go. John has $150. He spent one third of his money on a jacket. How much does the jacket cost? Again, I repeat the question. John has $150. He spent one third of his money on a jacket. So how much does the jacket cost? We have four options. A, $100, B, $50, C, $200, and D, $75. You have five seconds starting from now.
Okay, all group, lift up your answers. Lift up your answers. Okay, so the first question has the answer of B, $50. So therefore, we have everybody correct. Congratulations. Everybody will get 10 points. That's good. Keep it up. Very good. Next, we have the second question. At which temperature, science, at which temperature water starts to boil? 75 degrees A, B, 0 degrees Celsius, C, 100 degrees Celsius, and D, 50 degrees Celsius. You have five seconds to discuss starting from now. Two, one, lift up your pedal. Okay, hang on. The answer is C, 100 degrees Celsius. So again, everybody got 10 points. Congratulations. Good job. Good job, Red Stellar, Yellow Osprey, Green Hawk, and Blue Falcon. Sip. Okay, next question. Math. The straight lines above are parallel to each other because at one point, they will be able to meet one another. So is it true, A, or B, false? So these two straight lines, it says that they are parallel to each other because at one point, they will be able to meet one another. You start discussing from now. Five seconds. And lift up your answer. The answer is supposed to be false. Okay, so we have B, 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 B. Good job, everybody. Isn't it too easy for you? <laughs> okay, okay, good job, guys. Next question. What is the process called when the pollen goes to the stigma? So when the pollen goes to the stigma, it's a process. What do you call it? A, germination. B, pollination. C, evaporation. Or D, fertilization. You do have five seconds starting from now. Discuss. Easy. Okay. And lift up your answer. The answer is supposed to be B, pollination. So we got, again, everybody correct. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good job, guys. 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. Good job. Next. Okay. What is the name of a solid that has three rectangular faces and two triangular faces? So it's a solid with three rectangular faces and two triangular faces. Is it A, triangle-based pyramid, B, triangle, C, cuboid, or D, triangular prism? Five seconds. And lift up your answer. It's supposed to be D, triangular prism. So do we give score also for a blue falcon? Can I have the judge? Yes? Okay. So everybody got 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. So please make sure you lift up your answer exactly after the five seconds. Okay? Don't be late. Okay. Good job, guys. So we have the next one. Can you see the questions? Is it readable for you? Okay. The next one. The scientific name of a dog is A. Canis familiaris. B. Canis familiaris in bold. The first one, A, is in uh, all caps lock. C, Canis Familiaris with C and F using capital letter. Or D, Canis Familiaris, the C, F using capital and all in Italy. Your five seconds starts now. Let's go. Lift up your answer now, everybody. Come on, come on. Okay, the answer is supposed to be B, 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 B. Okay, we got everybody correct as well. Very good. So... B, Canis Familiaris, with capital C and with uh, lowercase f, and in Italy. Thank you. Good job. So we have the next question. Math. There were 312 girls at the carnival, and there were three times as many boys as girls. How many boys are there at the carnival? So 312 girls at the carnival. You do not know the amount of the boys, but you are given information that there are three times as many boys as girls. So how many boys are there? A, 936, B, 926, C, 916, and D, 946. Your five seconds starts from now. You can use the paper and the pencil on the table. Okay, lift up your answer. And the answer is, a 936. Good job, guys. Everybody got 10 points for Green Hawk, 10 points, Yellow Osprey, 10 points, Red Stellar, 10 points, 
Blue Falcon 10 points. Okay, are you guys still focused? All good? Okay, let's carry on. Next, how many stages are there in the life cycle of a butterfly? So a butterfly has a life cycle. And what you have to do is you count how many stages are there. Very easy options. A, two stages. B, three stages. C, four stages. And D, five stages. Your five seconds starts from now. And you have five seconds. Done. Okay. Lift up your answer, please. Okay, the answer is supposed to be C, 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 four stages. Good job. So you guys all get 10 points. Okay, let's go to the next question. It's going to be the ninth. Oh, it's a math. I am a number, so it's a number. It's between 20 and 30. And the number is a multiple of both three and four. What is the number? Okay, again, the, it's a number. It exists between 20 and 30. And it's also a multiple of both 3 and 4. So you better start counting. Your time starts now. Okay? Five seconds. Look into the answer. A is 36. B is 32. C is 24. And D is 22. Lift up your answer. We have C, 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 C. Good job, guys. The answer is C24. Good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue. This is the last question of round one. I repeat, this is the last question of round one. So, it's science. The tool used to measure the temperature of the surroundings is called, so is a tool, to measure temperature, but only to measure the temperature of the surroundings, okay? A is clinical thermometer. B is wall thermometer. C is anemometer. And D is barometer. You have five seconds starting now. Discuss. If it's easy, no need to discuss. <laughs> and lift up your answer, please. The answer is supposed to be B wall thermometer we have 10 points for every good job and that ends your first round awesome guys i think it's too easy for you <laughs> okay take deep breath okay so since this is the end of first round it's time for us to go to our online participant okay we have a trivia we have a trivia question session okay and this is for grade four five and six so for those who are watching at home, online, it's time for you to open your Google Docs. It's time for you to get a pencil, a piece of paper, or a pen, then listen to these questions. Okay? Can I have the question? Thank you. There will be two questions. I will read it two times. Okay? So be ready. For the others, for you guys, please don't answer the question. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so the first question for the trivia, which is for the students at home. Remember, whatever question that I'm going to give, you will have to submit later on uh, via Google Classroom. Your teachers had sent an assignment that you have to um, attach the answer. Okay, so here goes the first question. It's uh, science. So the process where water changes from liquid state into gaseous state. It's known as fill in the blanks, okay? You don't need to uh, write the question anymore. You just have to answer one more time. The process where water changes into, uh, from the liquid state into gaseous state. So water changes uh, form, right? From liquid to gaseous state. So what is the process called? That's the first question. No answering, okay? <laughs> the second question, hang on. Okay, we still have science. Okay, so another question from science. Do not 
uh, write, the, uh, write the question. It's a dark area that is formed when an object blocks the path of light. So what is it called? The dark area that is formed when an object blocks the path of light. What do we call it? Submit your answer in Google Classroom. If you are done, you can take picture of your answer in a piece of paper. Or if you do it in a Google Doc, don't forget to attach the document itself. OK. So stay tuned. We still have more questions for you. This is not the end for our online viewers at home. Stay online. And the most important thing is for you to keep on supporting our fans. Give a big applause first. <laughs> so before we carry on to the second round, we are going to read the summary of the scores that you have gained throughout the first round, which is very easy to count, actually, because you got everything correct. Good job. For each cow's color, I will read. <laughs> there you go. Red Stellar. For Red Stellar, full score, 100. Good job. <laughs> Green Hawk, very tight competition. 100 as well. Good job. <laughs> and Blue Falcon is Keeping it up with 100. Full score. Good job, Blue Falcon. And we have, last but not least, always, Yellow Osprey with full score 100. Good job, guys. OK, I can't see you beneath your mask, but I'm sure you're smiling, right? OK, <laughs> so let's carry on. OK, second round. Ready? OK. Um, we're going to do a little tryout for second round because the rule is a bit different. Okay, so I will read the rules first, then we will do a tryout. Just uh, an example of how we're going to do it. Okay, round two, the rules are one, anyone from any house color can answer the questions. It means it's up to you who you want to decide to answer, okay? No issues, no problem. Next. Can you read? It's clear, right? OK. You need to raise your paddle before you can answer the question. This is your paddle. It has A, B, C, D. OK, sorry? Excuse me? It will be the fastest. It will be. Doesn't matter which paddle. It depends on the question, correct? It depends on the question. It will give you uh, an option, and you choose the correct answer, and we will see which group is the fastest. Oh, let me read it first, OK? So um, you have to wait until I point at either your name, like uh, Saul, Alexis, or if I choose um, your house color. If I ho call your house color, then you are allowed to answer. Keep your answer until I call, because if you don't, you're going to lose the marks. You're going to get deducted. OK? Um, you have five seconds, actually, five seconds as well, to discuss and then show your answer. So the same uh, rule, every correct answer will get 10 points, while every wrong answer will get a minus point deduction. <laughs> OK, it's fair enough, Andrew. OK, next, the last but the most important one here is the other fastest house color can do a steal. OK, they can do a steal if the first group that is chosen giving the wrong answer. So for example, um, Blue Falcon raised up the fastest. OK, and then the second fastest is the Red Stellar. So we will call first Blue Falcon. If you gave us the wrong answer, you get minus 10 point deduction, right? And the second chance will be given to the red stellar. If you answer it correctly, you would get 10 points. If you <laughs> answer it wrong, what's going to happen? Yes, bye bye, another 10 points. So be careful. My suggestion is be careful. <laughs> yeah? My grade four, you remember my suggestions? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. So, uh, we're going to try. I'm going to give you a random question for myself. And let's see who can answer the fastest. And Miss Mr. Brum will help me to see which one is the fastest, which group is the fastest. 
we'll take a look at the question later on. Okay? It depends on the... Okay, let's try. The question comes from me. It's not going to be there. So, let's do a tryout. If I have a math question, 0 0.5 times 2 equals to what? 5 seconds to answer. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift it up. Okay, you have to raise your paddle, honey. Even though you raise your hand the fastest, but you don't raise a paddle, I can't choose you. Correct, Mr. Brown? So, the fastest is Green Hawk. So, I will choose Green Hawk, and you may tell me your answer. Sorry? One hole. It's a one unit, one hole. If that is correct, then you get 10 points. If that is incorrect, I will give, we will give the second chance to Yellow Osprey. Okay? Yellow Osprey can answer, get the points, don't get deduction. Okay? Are you all clear? You're clear on how to do this? Okay, I take a big, dra a big breath, you also. Remember, paddle, 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 no matter which one. Okay, ready? Are we good? Yes, correct. Another important information is you don't need to wait until the five seconds is done. No need to wait, just like Saul, when I was done reading the question, then he directly raised, but not the hand, the paddle. Okay? Raise always the paddle. ASAP, as soon as possible. Clear? All good? Yes? So they can lift up the paddle as soon as we're done asking the question. Yes? Even before. Even before. Good luck. Who has the strongest hand here? The fastest hand. Okay. Shall we start? <laughs> Shall we start? <laughs> <Are you? laughs> okay, so we should start. Okay, or else you will have to stay here for another one hour. Okay. Round two. Number one, 85.74 times five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Faster, faster. Whoever gets it the fastest, raise the paddle. Green, race. Green is the first, uh, green will be given the first chance. And later on, if it's incorrect, we will give chance to yellow osprey. Answer now. Now? Now, please? Please give applause to Green. <laughs> Good job! Yes, the answer is 428.7. Alexis, faster. Okay? Guys, come on. Faster. Okay, faster. So, you, the others can do the counting while you lift up, lift up the fastest. Okay, you have two people to count and the other person can just swing it up. Okay, yeah? Jadine, let's go. Okay, second. Huh. It's science. What type of body enable, enable fish to move fast? And doing maneuver in the water. Green. Sir? Incorrect, so the, f the second chance is given to? Red. Red Stellar, you may answer. It's correct? It's correct! Oh, it's correct! Wow! <laughs> okay, good job, good job, Green Hawk. So, now Green Hawk had taken ten, 20 points total, okay, during round two. So, two times they got it correct, 10 points plus 10 points. Be careful. If you lift it up, it means... You don't have any options, you have to answer. And if it's incorrect, <laughs> if it is, it's incorrect. If it's incorrect, minus. So please, if you're not sure, you know what to do. Yes, judge. <laughs> okay, next. Question? Okay, it's math. We have 12,457. Next, okay, which one? Blue Falcon. Blue Falcon, your answer is? 12,469. Correct. Good job. 10 points added for Blue Falcon. Okay, next. Okay, a liquid that turns red after mixing 
With red cabbage. Okay, we have an answer. Green hawk, what is your answer? Acid. Correct. Good job. Green hawk, another 10 points. You got to go faster, guys. The fastest will be chosen first. Okay, next question. Okay, what component of the leaf? Green hawk, another one. Your answer is? Chlorophyll. The answer is correct. Good job. Okay, next. Relax, relax, remember. Okay, please remember that you have to answer the fastest. Next is math. Yes, which one? Yellow osprey. Excuse me? Scalene triangle. The answer is scalene triangle. So yellow osprey, you're getting another 10 points. Good job, finally. Okay, next. What organ has the responsible? <laughs> Green hawk, your answer is? Esophagus, correct answer? Correct answer. So, green hog, another 10 points. Faster, guys. Next question. I bought a bag, a yellow one, and all the counting. Shall I read it? <laughs> okay. First, I bought a yellow bag for $40.68. 40 then, I bought another bag. It's a red one. It cost me $80.95 more than the yellow bag. So, if I give the cashier $200 cash, how much money will I get as a change? You can count. So can we do the counting? Count down. Five seconds. Ten seconds. And we have Red Stellar. Your answer is? Answer is? Incor incorrect. The second chance is given to Yellow Osprey. Can you repeat one more time? The answer is correct. Good job, Yellow Osprey. Ten point is added. Good. Okay. Next. It's science. Please observe this picture. This graph, there is lamb, two lambs, lamb holders, cell, and a switch. Take a look and observe. The question will be given after this. Okay, all good? Yeah, the question is what would happen to the brightness of the lamp? We have red stellar, answer? Good job, yes, it's correct. It will be getting dimmer, good job. So we are now in the last question of round two. We are in the last question of round two, ready? Ready, okay, let's see. Helen Math. Helen bought 12 pieces. Which one? Yellow Osprey. Your answer is two. Correct? Correct. So 10 points for Yellow Osprey. That will be the last point that you get. Awesome. Good job, guys. Give a pat to yourself. <laughs> okay. So now take a break because the next questions will be for the online viewers. Okay, guys. Hopefully you are still with us. We have trivia question coming, another two questions. Okay, get your Google Docs ready, pencil, eraser, uh, pen, and paper. Remember that your questions, the answers, must be submitted via Google Classroom, so be ready. Okay, I'm giving you some time. All good, guys? Okay, awesome. Easy busy? Okay, yes? Two. If we have a, a same score between any of your groups, we will have extra questions. It's called tiebreaker. Okay? Don't worry. We have everything ready. Okay, the first question for the trivia. It's from science. Uh, you guys don't answer it, okay? So the ones at home, please... Listen carefully, I will read two times. A form of energy that allows us to see is called blank. So a form of energy that allows us to see is called blank, okay? It's a form of energy and the function is to allow us to see. 
Okay, only submit the answer. You do not need to repeat the question and write it down. Okay. Get ready for the second question, please. I hope you have great internet connection. The second one. Okay, we have another science question. The maple seed. There is a seed. It's a maple seed. That is, the maple seed will disperse. In time, it will disperse with the help of blank. So, maple seed will disperse with the help of blank. Please only write your answer and then submit it to the Google Classroom. And don't forget, you still have to stay tuned. Even though the trivia is done, please stay tuned to support your friends. Give a big applause first. Okay. So... Since we are done with the trivia, and you're done with the first round, and also done with the second round, so we're going to accumulate all the scores that you got from round one to round two to round two. So the final score is going to be right in a while. Five seconds, five seconds. <laughs> okay. This is not the end. Yeah, this is not the end. We will have more competitions in the future. Right? We will have more throughout your year in grade 4, in grade 5, in grade 6. We will have more of these. Maybe we will have some competitions for Chinese New Year. Right? Maybe some Valentine's event. Okay? So, <laughs> so you still have the chance. You here as a participant and online viewers at home, you still have a chance to uh, accumulate more scores for your house color. Okay. So... We'll read it up. We're ready. We will start. Hang on. Okay. From, <laughs> from the fourth, yes. From the fourth, we have, we have, dun, 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 dun. Who is that? Oh, <laughs> tiebreaker. Really? We have a tiebreaker? No, we don't. <laughs> Miss Debbie's like, oh, my God. Don't worry, don't worry. I am also scared. <laughs> I am also scared. <laughs> okay. So anyways, before we read it, our students beloved students, you will have a certificate. We will give you a certificate of one uh, certificate of participation and the winners will receive a certificate of recognition later. Okay? So we'll carry on to the final scores. We will start from the third place. Fourth place, we have congratulations for Stellar with a final score of 100. We are proud of you. I am red. Okay, so congratulations, Red Stellar, for the final score of 100. Then goes, followed by the third place, we have Blue Falcon. Congratulations with 110. It's hard work. Okay, tap yourself. It's hard work. Okay, next, we have the winner of the 2021 Math and Science Quizbee. Goes to... Second place first, runner up first. <laughs> we are going to the second place first. Okay, and the second place, which is the runner up, will go to. <laughs> yes, hey, congratulations. Final score is 130. Hard work, hard work. And the winner is Green Hawk with 150 points. Congratulations, Red Stellar, Yellow Osprey, Blue Falcon, and Green Hawk. It's not easy to be you in this position, so we really appreciate you coming, working hard. Okay, good job. So now we are going to call Green Hawk participants to come forward. Okay, maintain social distancing still. <laughs> and we are also, we would like to call Mr. Adam and Mr. Romy to congratulate the winners. We have the representative, we have uh, Alexis, we have Amy, and we have Jadine. 
Blue falcon? Is it blue falcon? Or is it green hog? It's green hog. Mr. Adam, yes? <laughs> Congratulations, guys. And fist bump with Mr. Romy. Good job. Alexis, it's worthy to come in the morning. <laughs> Take pictures, please. Cheese, SLK. <laughs> Say SLK. Thank you. Thank you so That's okay. Today's event is not the end of the competition. More competitions are coming. More opportunities for you to win the House Color Cup for your team. So we want to see more of you to participate in the upcoming event. Uh, last but not least, we thank all the participants for participating in this Quizby Challenge and for the teachers and for the staffs who have been working hard to prepare this event. We will see you again when next year stay safe and always follow the health protocols wherever you go bye guys bye